the various devices for administering the toxin that were found in the laboratory certainly make it clear that purely defensive uses were not um, what the agency uh, had, had, uh, was limited to in any way. There were definite offensive uses. In fact, there were dart guns. You mentioned suicide. Well, I, I, I don't think a, a suicide is usually accomplished with a dart, uh, particularly a gun that can, can uh, place the dart in a human target in such a way that he doesn't even know that he's been hit. There's no question about it. It was also for offensive reasons. No question. Have you brought with you um, some of those devices which would have enabled the CIA to use this poison for... We have indeed. ...for killing people? <laughs> don't, don't point it at me. <laughs> I wonder if, if Mitch, can you roll that over? Roll that over. <laughs> now, does does this does this pistol uh, fire the dart? Yes, it does, Mr. Chairman. The uh, that the round thing at the top is obviously the sight. The rest of it is uh, what is practically a, uh, a normal 45, although it's, a, it's special. It, however, it, it works by electricity. There's a battery in the handle, and it sh fires a small dart. So that when it fires, it fires silently? Almost silently, yes. Uh, very little. Very what range does it have? 100 meters. 100 meters, I believe, about. About 100 yards, 100 meters. About a hundred meters range, right. and the dart itself, when it strikes the the, the uh, target, um, does the uh, target know that he's about that he's been hit and about to die? That depends, Mr. Chairman, on the particular dart used. There are different kinds of these flechettes uh, that were used in in uh, various weapon systems, and a special one was developed which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. Without perception, right? And did you find such such darts in the library uh, in, in the laboratory? We did. Yes. Isn't it true too that um, the the effort not only involved designing a gun that could strike a, a human target without knowledge of the person who'd been struck, but also the toxin itself would not appear in the autopsy? Well, there, there was an attempt to... Or the to dark? Make, yes, so that uh, there was no, no way of perceiving that the, uh, the target was hit. As a murder instrument, that's about as efficient as you can get, isn't it? It, it, it is a weapon, a very serious weapon. 